Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Welcome to Haseem Electronics Friends in this video we will troubleshoot It is Somix P80D20 model It was not working First we have to test it Set multimeter to Ohm Turn on the timer Set to any range The multimeter should give some resistance We do not find anything Reverse the leads nothing so we have to open this because this time it's not working it does not power on we have no light nothing so we have to open this for opening this remove screws from the body remove all screws one two three and one is the, this, this side I will open this after that remove the cover here are all electronics and electromechanical and mechanical parts here first of all we have to test the input power cable while working on this unit be sure it is very dangerous it have very high voltage it has very high frequency so never take a risk if you don't high voltage you must take care how we can test power cable in the first step we have to test power cable set multimeter to continuity connect one lead the one line is here that is coming to thermal switch thermal switch over temperature protection it is over temperature protection in case of overheat this thermal switch will operate and it will disconnect the power because it is connected in the line first of all we have to test the cable connect to the second line multimeter will show continuity then check the other end if it does not give continuity that means this switch is damaged you have to replace it we must continuity from inside one side the other side so that means this path is clear then check first we have we will check the cable and then we will complete the full troubleshooting now here this line this brown line is connected to fuse this line is connected to thermal switch and this line to fuse that means our power cable is ok power cable have no problem so now we have to move forward as we checked input and output and now we will check the input of fuse and the other end of fuse so fuse second end is not reading anything we have to open the fuse we have to remove the fuse and we we will check it outside it's open it is open the fuse is blown to see the value of fuse it is 8 ampere 250 volt so we have to connect the fuse 8, 8 ampere fuse and then we will see and we will check the circuit what is the problem there are slow blow, fast blow, semiconductor fuse and this bus fuse I will connect bus fuse here it is for testing I installed bus fuse 8 ampere now we can see the multimeter reads some resistance that's good mm. 
so it's powered on so we had problem there was problem in the fuse now we will check I will put medium high Let's open. Wow. Let's heat up. We will check the temperature. I will collect temperature probe. It is 80 degrees centigrade. It is 80 degrees centigrade. So let's start the working. Now we will see the circuit. How is the wiring and how is the composition? This line. coming directly to the door switch here we have door switch here when the door will open this micro switch will will open and it will open the circuit and we will not find the voltage here then when this switch is timer switch is on it will start when timer switch is on it will start this red wire here here we have blower fan the same time blower fan will start and here when we operate this timer range switch actually from this point we are changing the voltage level to be connected to this high voltage transformer and this capacitor we have this capacitor transformer high voltage transformer high voltage source and this capacitor they energize the voltage to the magnetron this magnetron it is actually the transmitter it, tr it transmits high frequency 2.45 gigahertz to the body so this is total very simple circuit the digital microwaves they have a circuit built-in circuit processor to monitor the temperature but this is the simplest circuit I hope so this video is good for you if it is good you can like subscribe and share if you want if you have any question let me know in the comment box and if you want to watch my future videos press bell icon button if you want thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh yes uh, we have sorry we have another another line one line for the fan motor 
the second line from the same point it will go to the base in the basement there is a small motor that will rotate and it will rotate the plate in the cable box that is installed here here is a motor if you want to open this remove these screws and it will this plate will come down and we can open this base plate there is a motor to rotate this mechanism because this is it rotates if it will not rotate our food will not heat up in the all directions thanks for watching and if you want to enjoy this black coffee without sugar welcome it is bitter in taste thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh